Today we're talking about the power of vignettes in After Effects. Let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Cameron with Motion Science and today we are talking about the power of vignettes in After Effects. Now you may think of vignettes as a simple thing, but really a vignette helps to create framing uh, around our scene and it can bring attention to certain areas of the scene. So let's jump into After Effects and I'll show you what I mean. So here we are in After Effects. The first way to apply a vignette is to go to Effect and go down to Stylize and we've got something here called CC Vignette. And I click and you can see it's immediately applied here. If I turn it off and on, you can see how it's being applied to the edges. Now, I like to play around with the different variables here. So the amount, I'm gonna turn it up slightly. Uh, the angle view, you can see what it's doing there. Uh, pin highlights, I typically will turn these up. Uh, but these are just a few parameters you can play around with to get some different looks. Now, we can take this a step further by putting our center point here on the car, right? So if I bring the center point over to the left of the screen, it's obviously highlighting this part of the screen over here, it's highlighting more of the right side. So if we follow the car, we can set a keyframe here for the center and go to the end of our timeline and bring it over here. And if I preview this, it's a very subtle effect, but it brings attention to the car driving down the road. Now I could also increase the amount here so we could really see the edge is darkening up and it's a lot more attention on the car driving down the road. So this is a simple way to apply a vignette. Now I can take this a step further by turning off vignette. We're back to our original plate. Go to layer, new solid, and I can create a dark blue solid like we see here. And this is just a matter of me sampling the road right in here, clicking okay. And now we have a solid above it. Now. I can double click on the circular mask and that's a basic mask. I can go to the mask, click inverted and hit F for feather and turn that feather up like this. And now you can see, instead of just black edges, we have these blue soft edges. Now I can take this a step further by taking that mask and I can double click it and rotate it to follow the road. So like we did with the vignette effect, and kind of bring it over here. I can turn down the transparency as well. Vignettes are typically a pretty subtle effect that we apply, but you can see now we've got kind of this bluish tint that's happening as it's following the road. Now I can take this a step further again by hitting M for mask, setting a keyframe here at the beginning, going to the end of the timeline and rotating it more to follow the road like we see here. And again, it's pulling attention to the car. I can take this a step further by changing the transfer mode from normal to something like hard light. And we can adjust the transparency again. I can crank it up, I can crank it down. And what this is doing is creating more contrasts on the sides, as we can see here. So again, it's not something that's really in your face. That's a big noticeable change. But if I turn it off, you can see there how we're bringing the attention into the screen. Now I can take this in a totally different direction by changing this dark solid to a bright solid. So if we go up here to white, click that, click OK, and then turn down the transparency here. Now it has a bunch of different look to it. So again, with and without. Hey, so really quickly, I want to let you know I've got a free PDF guide for you to download. It's the complete guide to organic motion design. It's absolutely free, motionscience.tv slash guide. It's my tips and tricks around ways that I get cinematic looks in motion design, organic cinematic looks like you see in a lot of my work. So definitely go check it out after this video, motionscience.tv slash guide. So let's take a look at another way you could approach this. Drag this footage down here and we'll make another new solid. And we'll change the color to this blue color, click OK. Now, instead of just creating a circular mask, I take the pen tool and I can draw a mask here. So I'm putting emphasis on the corners, making it not so perfect. And we'll hit M for mask. We'll click inverted, F for feather, and we'll feather this up, something like that. And then we'll set this one to soft light. And you can see again with and without, it just creates more contrast on the edges of the frame, drawing our 
attention, drawing the viewer's attention to the center of the frame. I'll also show you how this looks with some additional footage here. So I'll turn the mask off and on. Again, we're getting this nice kind of candy, cotton candy look to the sides of the frame, drawing our attention into the center of the frame. And let's take this one more step further. Let's grab this footage here. And we're gonna go ahead and bring this solid over the top. So again, you can see how nice that looks, right? It's bringing the attention into the center of the frame. But another way we could also approach this is by adding a new adjustment layer. So we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer. And we're gonna drop this underneath the color and we'll select M for mask, copy that mask and apply it to the adjustment layer. And to that adjustment layer, we're going to go to effect and you can use any blur here. I like to use the camera lens blur personally and we'll crank this up to about 15 and you can see now we've got these really soft edges. So footage by itself, blurred edges and colored edges. I could actually even take this mask, bring it in just a little bit for the blur, shrink it in just a little bit, maybe bring the top of it up, but we are heavily blurring the edges. So again, we're bringing attention into the center of the frame to the monolith here. And that, my friends, is a few easy ways to use vignette to really draw attention to the center of your composition, to add visual interest to your composition. As always, thanks for being here today, and I will see you in the next video.